So this is Mr. Critchett. He had his laryngectomy approximately six months ago. Um, he's having issues getting loud voicing and our evaluations have determined he is what we would consider hypotonic. He has hypotonicity in his neopharynx where his uh, PE segment tissues are not approximating well enough to achieve adequate vibration for a loud sound source. So in this case, what we're doing is trying to modify uh, his technique, whether it's postural changes, manipulation of his actual neopharynx, trying to find a way to approximate those tissues in an effort to get a louder voice out of him. So, Mr. Critchett, I want you to include your HME and say hello. Again? Okay. Now I want you to turn your head to your left. Say hello. Okay. Turn your head to your right. Say hello. Good. Now back to the neutral position. I'm going to actually compress the front of your pharynx, your throat, toward the back in an effort to actually push those tissues together myself, okay? I want you to say hello for me. Hello. That was very effective in improving the loudness. Now I want you to turn your head toward me, put your chin down. We'll try this again. Say hello. Chin down. Hello. That was also effective. Hello in the neutral position again. You can hear the difference the postural changes make. Now we'll go to the left, chin down. Hello. And that one was not so effective. So essentially, you, you run through various postural changes knowing which postures have a tendency to, to approximate those tissues better. Every patient, because of their reconstruction and, and personal uh, configuration of the pharynx, will be different. So you do need to run through various changes. In some cases, you can do a, a posterior, let's try this, with your head tilted upward. Say hello. In his case, it's not really effective. But you do also want to mitigate. It needs to be a posture that they can also communicate in typically without being too awkward for, for standard communication. So, Mr. Critchett, between compressing here, do you think that's something you can do? I want you to try with your hands. And you're going to push here. Hello. So you can use the two-finger method, and that keeps your head in a neutral position. From a communication perspective, that's probably the most optimal because it doesn't... Um, really require him to alter his head posture. He can still maintain eye contact and everything else. Patients where that's not effective, this head turn to the right with the head down still would be an effective means of communication because he can still address. I want you to see if you can look straight ahead and talk for me. Chin down. Down. There you go. It's not as optimal, but if that's the only option, it does allow him a means in certain situations where he does have to be louder. He has the means to know how to do that should he need to. Thank you.